Hey everyone! Welcome to the bonus video of Metroid Prime. Today we're just going to cover pretty much everything that's not in the main story, which is actually a number of things, but a lot of it isn't going to talk about, or isn't going to take long to talk about. I don't anticipate this being a very long bonus video. But this is just the intro to the Metroid Prime Trilogy. You'll see this obviously in the Metroid Prime Trilogy. As I said, I was playing this off the Wii version, or the Wii U Virtual Console Wii version. I still don't know what to call it. Is it Virtual Console? It's really not emulation, which is kind of what the Virtual Console is, is but whatever. Anyway. Yeah, Prime Trilogy. Fantastic collection. If you can get it, which you should be able to if you have a Wii U, because it's only 20 bucks, and you should definitely pick that up. Yeah, definitely get that. Anyway, I'm actually <laughs> not positive. Okay. And... We got a bunch of concept art. If you 100% the game, you get this stuff. I'm not going to show it all because there's a lot of it. And you can look it up online, find it online. If you want to pause the video to look at any of this specifically, feel free. But I'm not going to show all of this off because it's just... It's really good concept art, don't get me wrong. But uh, like this, this is actually... Hold on. This is really beautiful. I love that art. That's that's great. But yeah, a lot of it's just art of the enemies and whatnot. And it's cool, but not the best bonus, to be honest, 100%. But eh, eh it's something. I guess what else are they really going to give you? Concert Art for Samus is really cool. Uh, and then we got the extra gallery as well. You purchased this, by the way. Um, hold on. Okay, we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, if you see down here, we got these medals. And... Actually, in the original GameCube version, right, you unlocked these to 100% of the game. In the Wii version, you get medals for doing certain tasks in game, like defeating a boss or... Or whatnot. I think collecting artifacts, maybe, or 100%. Maybe even gives you one, I'm not sure. And you purchase them through these. That's how you get the uh, these things. You can also buy bonus galleries, like there's a screenshot tool, tool, and there's also soundtracks. So you can listen to the entire soundtrack, which is definitely great. Although you can also do that online. So, um, but if you want to just have it on TV, I guess if you have a great like sound system on your TV, you can play it through here, which is not a bad option. Although it's not all the soundtrack; it's only like the area themes and battle themes. But hey, that's really what's what the great stuff is, so not bad, I guess. But um, the main thing, the biggest thing, and not really a huge thing, but it's a thing, is you can turn the Metroid Prime Fusion Suit on. You purchase that as well through these things. This is also in the GameCube version, um, but you had to connect your Game Boy to it through the Game Boy GameCube connection cable. How many of you guys had that? Also, if you beat the game, you get Hyper Mode, which is essentially this game's hard mode. Um, how many of you guys had that? I did, and I loved it. I use it for Pokemon XD, or not XD, what's the first one? Coliseum, I use it for that. I use it to get Jirachi, is that the one? I think it's Jirachi in Pokemon Sapphire. Uh, and I use it for this, and that's like it, but... Yeah, I had it, I was like one of few people, I think, that really, really had it. But... Yeah, uh, but that game... You can connect it and get the fusion suit. Which uh, is cool. You had to have a completed file on both Metroid Prime and Fusion to unlock it. But it was there. The one thing that is not in the Wii version, kind of understandably, I guess, that is in the GameCube version is if you connected the... Uh, if you connected Game Metroid Fusion to the GameCube through the connector cable, you can actually play the original NES Metroid. Or maybe that was just 100% of the game. You got it somehow. I can't remember exactly how. It's either through connecting the... I think it is through connecting the cable. Um, yeah, you get to play the original NES Metroid off your GameCube, which was really cool. A lot of games did at that time, and I'm sad that now games aren't really allowed to do it because of things like the Virtual Console. Um, they have it anyway, and Nintendo doesn't want a game taking money away from the Virtual Console just because... You know, we can put it in the game. That's why Animal Crossing doesn't have the NES games anymore, unfortunately. I wish they did, because they're really cool. But yeah, they're in GameCube Animal Crossing. But 
Sadly, not anything else. You might notice that you're not really seeing the fusion suit much. It's not really a huge bonus considering these games in first person. And 95% of the time, you won't really be seeing your outfit. If you're if you're standing still, and sometimes like Samus will grab onto her arm cannon. Actually, that doesn't happen in this version of the game. So, uh, because obviously you can't you can't can move around a bunch. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. It's kind of cool, because Metroid Prime and Fusion came out around the same time. Yeah, think about that. Two Metroid games coming out at the same time, when now we're starved for Metroid. I know we got Federation Force, but that's not really a Metroid game. It's Again, I, I don't want to anger anyone, but I'm sure it's a fine game, but it's not a good Metroid game. And when we haven't had a good game in, like, nine years, you kind of got to get... You know, actual Metro game out there, not Federation Force, but that's a topic for another time, I suppose. Although, I don't know when I'll, I'd ever talk about that, really, so I don't know, but whatever. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Metroid Fusion suit bonus. Uh, again, GameCube g game, you get it through beating Metroid Prime and Fusion and then connecting it to your GameCube through the Game Boy GameCube connector cable. In this game, you just buy it with the tokens you get for completing actions within the game, which is much easier because you don't have to complete Metroid Fusion. And Metroid Prime, which isn't hard to do, but it takes time. Although, if you know what you're doing, you can do that in the afternoon, so it's not really a big deal. Um, and yeah, that's it. And of course, now we have Hyper Mode, which is essentially Hard Mode. Uh, which basically makes enemies have more health, and it's not too interesting. It's not really that much harder. Although, I, I said I'm more on energy, but that's really because I haven't been caring. Yeah, that's about it. I don't really have much more to say about Metroid Prime. Uh, fantastic game. Get it however you can. Get the GameCube version. Get the Wii version. Uh, the Wii version is the best version you can get, in my opinion, because especially it's 20 bucks for all three games. You can't really beat that. I mean, maybe you could. I don't know. But if you can get it off the Wii U eShop, get that. It is a great deal. 20 bucks for three games. That's fantastic. 20 bucks is worth this game alone, let alone 3. But yeah, that's about it. Less of a long bonus episode than things like Shovel Knight or Okami, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? Those games had a lot more extras than this. Not, not a bad thing at all. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's it for Metroid Prime, really. I'll see you guys in the next LP. Whatever that's going to be. See you guys then.